Okay, we have our label made. Uh, you'll notice all of the different layers on the right side. And what we, go, what we want to do is, since the bottle is a 3D real life, obviously a 3D bottle, um, I'm going to take the layer, and a little trick that we, we usually pull off here with, with warping, we're going to warp the label so it looks like it, it's fitting around the bottle. And I'll show you how we'll do that in a second. Before I even get to that point, now, however, we've got all these layers that we get to combine. So when I'm warping the label by itself, I want everything on the label to warp with it. So I've got to somehow create one layer out of all of these. And again, this is kind of a little foreshadowing, I guess. Uh, we talk about layers in, a, in the next chapter, but in any case, this is uh, pretty powerful. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna hide the actual bottle so that all that is visible is all of the components that make up the, the, uh, the label, including the text and all of it. I'm gonna hit the Layer Options menu, and then there's a Merge button right in between the trash can and the colors. And you've got these options, flatten, merge visible, merge down, or done. And again, I, I cover these a little bit more detail in a, in a chapter coming up. All I want you to do is hit the merge visible. And what that's going to do is going to merge all of those layers down into one layer. Okay, let me turn the water bottle back on. doesn't look like anything's changed, but that whole label now is on one layer. And here's the, the key where, where it actually helps. Now when I go to the more menu and I hit warp, which is what I'm going to do, you see this grid that shows up, and now the label acts as one layer. So anytime I warp, it's gonna affect everything on that layer. So what I'm gonna do to create this effect is take the two middles, and I'm just gonna drag them down just a little bit. Probably a little too much there. Let me pull up on that one just a little bit. And I try to make it even. Yeah, expand this. So I can see it a little bit better. Try to make it just a little bit even. So that warps it down. And I'm going to do the same at the bottom. Just pull on these just a little bit, each, the two middle ones. So it makes it look like the label is somewhat wrapped around the bottle. Um, good to go. So you, you obviously warp, you can mess around with this all you want. There's a bunch of buttons that I explain in the book within warp that show you how to do certain things. Um, and I'll let you go, you go through the book in order to see what each of these buttons does. But I'm good on the label. I'm going to hit commit. And my label is now warped.